What's in your virtual agent toolkit? And we're going to talk about gratitude today in a big way on Wandering Zen. Welcome to Wandering But Not Lost, your online source for finding balance so that you can align, connect, and prosper. I'm living right here and now and I don't want to miss out. Is this what life's all about? The world is calling and I'm listening. Yeah, I'm listening. And now your hosts, Jen O'Brien and Matt Emerson. You've reached the WBNL Wandering But Not Lost podcast, where real estate and reality meet. This is episode 120. Uh, I can't believe it that we are all just hanging on here. So much to talk about, though, and life has changed. And we've been talking about the new normal for the last few weeks, Jana Brian. So uh, we have a lot to talk about today, don't we? We, we really do. You just got to bear with because uh, the new normal takes some changes and tweaks. And we have that happen in our everyday lives. But we've got some cool stuff to chat about today. Uh, Maybe some revelations, maybe some inner feelings, maybe some uh, direction that we're going because Matt and I are both manifesting our new norm. That is absolutely correct. No doubt about that. Now, today I, I wanted, let's, why don't we go ahead and dive into what I mean by the Virtual Agent Toolkit? And I think that'll jump us into a conversation about things that are happening. Uh, do you want to do that? For, do you want to do that, Matt? Sure. Or do let's, you wanna, let's, okay, let's, 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 let's talk let's, about let, Let's dive on in. Let's dive in. Head first, the virtual agent toolkit. Do you have one? Or do you even know what I'm talking about? Or do you care? There well, we go. stand by. Here we come. You're listening to the Wandering But Not Lost podcast, where real estate and reality meet. Join us and subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Google Play, and now on YouTube. All right, everybody, this is episode 120 of the WBNL podcast. Today, I am talking about the Virtual Agent Toolkit. If you've been following us here on the podcast, we really were inspired. Gosh, what was that? Almost two months ago? Yeah, now? it has well, been yeah, two months. Well, yeah, it was March yeah, 30th, exactly. yeah, 30th, exactly. March yeah, 30th right. and 31st, almost two months ago, when things really started happening for most states starting the lockdown process or the quarantine or the stay at home. It was stay at home for Nevada. And we were inspired to launch a 30 day challenge. And so you can listen to some of that content and things that we chatted about. And that's kind of moved us to this new normal. And I want to take you through the virtual agent toolkit. And then Matt and I are just going to get into a discussion about how this has morphed into uh, priorities and just taking a look at what is important and inspiration and manifesting our new normal. Right. So but I don't want to get away from some really good content for you. That, and then we're going to be able to tell you how we can help you with this if you're not, if you weren't part of our 129 folks that w came on the journey with us for the 30 day challenge, because you'll always have access to all of that content. Um, if you're interested in learning more about what the heck we're talking about, you know what? Just drop a comment, reach out to Matt or myself. You could just go to the podcast. You could easy ways to get in touch with us. Uh, just Google me, Google Matt. You can find us if you really want to. Yeah. All right, but let's get into what I mean by the Virtual Agent Toolkit. So one of the things that we did at the end of this challenge was we had so much great top content for 30 days. It was basically 31, 33 pieces of content. That's right. And from that, we, we crafted together a master checklist. Is if you went through this course and you did everything that you needed to do, here is everything you need to do in a neat, because I'm very much into systems and checklists. Here's what it is you need to do to master everything. So that is what I mean by the virtual, the first part of this checklist was the virtual agent toolkit. So I'm just gonna go through what these things are. And there are so many other things that could be in your toolkit, but what we're deciding to do now is just share really exactly what I'm doing with my team, uh, David Squire, who you've had us, who's been on the podcast with us, who is, who is partnering up with us on on uh, some other ventures here, and and some other things we'll be announcing with WBNL Coaching. He and I are coaching together to help each other be accountable to the way we run our teams, which is super exciting. Which only means we fine tune the systems and the ideas and the things that we share here on the podcast. Boots on the ground. Boots on the ground, walking the talk. And so what I am sharing with you today are the things that I'm personally doing and I am coaching my agents to do within my team. And anybody that's coaching with me, it's the same, the same things. 
Now, some of the things may pop in and out, and I'll get to that in a minute, meaning the brand or the thing that you use. But I just want to list the, the items today. And these are all over in the show notes at episode 120 and a lot more information that, that you'll be able to get about um, what's coming and getting on our interest list for some future launches of some programs. Number one, you have to have an IDX website. you got to get people off of Zillow and other places because that's what they're searching. People like to search. So you must, must, must have a website that allows people to search for all the listings in your area. You must have a client relationship management system, a CRM. Uh, you just have to. That is the, the foundation of your business. That is what's going to help you do the heavy lifting. It's like having a virtual agent. This is the virtual agent toolkit. It's like having a virtual assistant is what I meant to say. Huh. <clears throat> you have to have a home value report system. That's either built into your CRM there's many other ways to get it. I'm not going to get into where you get those, how you do it. Um, that'll be all stuff for later. That stuff we cover in our training and our courses. Um, but you must have that. People want to know what the value of their house is. Uh, I'll throw one out that you can get nationally, epropertywatch.com. I'm a fan. Okay. Yeah. You have to have a personalized uh, home search app that you can use on your mobile phone. It's your, your local real estate association, your company may have one, your CRM may have one. If you're going to sell new homes, you have to have some type of database that lets people have a database of looking for new homes in your area. They probably have it. If you're going to be a virtual agent, you have got to have a Zoom account. Wouldn't you say, Matt? Absolutely. No All right. about it. You Anyone who knows what Zoom is has been living under a rock for the now, last few days. Uh, okay. It's Zoom, but whatever whatever or it is. Google, I, or, or, yeah, Microsoft Meets or uh, Google, Google Meet. Or, yeah, Google no, Microsoft Meet. Teams, yeah. I mean, well, here's the deal. You probably need to be a master at numerous versions of video conferencing because your client might be needing to use Skype or this or that. You'll have your go-to. As a matter of fact, here at our at the podcast, we just got rid of Be Live TV. We got rid of something I've used for years for coaching. Join me because I'm with Zoom. Why do I need three video conferencing software systems and 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 being able to do one-on-one -on -one coaching? So Zoom, you got to be a master at Zoom and any other video conferencing. You got to have a Canva.com account or you have to have a marketing person. You have to have a graphics person that, right. that, that will do all that stuff for you. Uh, along the lines of social media, I think must have Facebook business page, mainly so you can run advertisement, to be quite honest. And then Instagram, okay? I am working very hard because my partner on my team, Cosmo Marabi, if you're listening, is doing his best to turn me into an Instagram <laughs> influencer in real estate. It is work, people. Uh, right now, as we're talking, I've got my video going on over here so I can get some of that behind the scenes stuff. You'll be happy with that, Mr. Cosmo. But this is cool stuff and it's real real world and it's the type of stuff that's out there and it's how you make a difference Absolutely. and how you stand out in today's market. So you got to be comfortable doing stories on Instagram or not. You know, it, it's okay. You know, but I do believe if you really want to be happening in the world, you don't have to be on every platform. TikTok, no. Snapchat, no. I, I'm just saying Facebook for advertising, Instagram, because that's where people are. And moving on, uh, you need a YouTube channel if you're going to do video, which you should. Online profiles, got to have a Zillow profile, got to have a Realtor.com profile, and you need it to be complete. And you need to have client reviews on those things. I also feel you need a LinkedIn profile, and it needs to be all-star Mac Daddy profiled out. Um, also love Breakthrough Broker. Uh, Breakthrough Broker is a free resource out there that you can get some great, I mean, I'm just, look, I'm jumping back into doing real estate um, with my team and I am putting into place all the things I'm always talking about. I'm walking my talk and I'm getting rid of stuff. I'm telling you right now, my mantra and our mantra moving forward for coaching is simplify. Less is more, do more with less. That's Do right. more with less, but pick the best tools for your toolkit. Don't be turning. Every time somebody turns around and go, here's a new shiny penny. Here's a new thing that people are calling you all the time. Here's the latest and greatest. Forget it. I'm telling you what it is that you need and you need these things. Now, there's two that you can add that will cost you an upgrade. Um, and, and that is to have keeping current matters. I love this. I'm using it all the time for the latest stats and social graphics, and I'm paying for it because it's adding to my social media and it's giving me some additional stuff on top of the videos and the things that I'm doing. And last, huge fan, bomb bomb video. I think video is it. You could find another solution for video if you don't want to have a whole another way, but that could be your email marketing system where you're using video. I love the app. I love everything about bomb bomb video that uh, is a way to touch people. So that right there, folks, 
is the toolkit. These, this is the systems or the tools or the apps that you have to have. Number one, number two, you must use. Okay. Oh, that. And, and number three, you know, use often and really be a master of it. Okay. So, we'll be doing more in upcoming podcast on uh, bits on the virtual agent tool, uh, how to be how to be the virtual agent. But I wanted to share those tools with you today. You can get that list, that little checklist for you is over in the show notes today, uh, episode 120, wbnlpodcast.com. Come take my hand and see the world around you. The time is right, just let the light surround you. And step by step, you feel it coming alive, the feeling deep down inside. The best memories are made when you take the road less traveled. Visit wanderingbutnotlost.com for some inspiration. Hey, today we're not going to do an official Wandering Zen segment like we normally uh, do on the podcast. I've had a, a very interesting couple of days. My uh, my mother is 86 years old. She lives down in Florida. And if any of you have you know listened to our podcast over a length of time, you know I, I go down to Florida a lot to see how she's, she's doing. She had a, a situation the other day and then uh, yesterday she had a fall. So uh, she, she, you know, hit her head on some concrete. So she uh, uh, had a little trip to the hospital this morning. And I just wanted to say um, that, you know, it's so interesting when something like that happens uh, in, in your life or to your family or friends or whatever, you know, to see how, how people respond and what happens during this pandemic. It is really curious to, you know, you, you've been hearing about what is happening in hospitals and with paramedics and EMTs and, and nurses and all this you know, on the news and seeing how that's that's uh, happening. I got a little bit of firsthand feeling of how that all goes down. Um, uh, and I, I just wanna just get, just quickly just kind of walk through that experience because it's the same, but a little bit different at the same time. So- uh, When it's know, happening I, to you, right? Exactly. And I, you know, I got a call today from uh, a uh, caregiver that was going in to see my mom this morning at eight o'clock. And my mom had, she answered the door, but she had fallen down. There was a little bit of blood on her and they called the EMTs and they came out. <clears throat> and um, uh, just everybody's so, always so helpful, right? But but you know it, the the well, the way they they look, the way they act, and the way they are behaving is just slightly different because everyone's being much more cautious with everything that's going on in mm-hmm. the world right now. You know, they they took my mom uh, to the the hospital. No one could go into the hospital with her because they don't allow people into the waiting room or anything. So she what? was she was out of the out of the um, ambulance on the gurney and then right into the hospital alone. Uh, which is, you know, must be a kind of a scary experience that they're not, you know, your loved ones are, there's no one around you because they just don't let anyone in. So she went in, um, but, but at the same time, so the communication has been so good, not only from the caregiving company that I use for my mother and father or my mother, which by the way is called uh, Home Instead, big shout outs to them. They were absolutely stellar this morning. Uh, but the people at Gulf Coast uh, General Hospital there in uh, Southwest Florida have been absolutely great too. They have been very communicative, didn't they know what's going on, letting them know my mom is all right, that she's doing well, that the tests are gonna be done and this is the order and all of that stuff. And the caregivers are ready to pick her up and take her home when she's ready to be uh, um, uh, you know, uh, release. So I have a very good peace of mind that she's being handled in all the very best way that, uh, you know, she possibly can be. I give a huge shout out to all the first responders and the frontline people that take care of people right now. I mean, it's amazing, you know, what's going on. All this kind of started to ramp up yesterday. So I went on to make my, I was a plan on going to Florida mid June. So I, I wanted to ramp or to, to move my time up. So I, I called the airline yesterday, which, you know, it whole, the whole, everything is upside down right now so i'm calling the airline to see when i as soon as i can get to florida uh the soon as i could have gotten to florida was going to be tonight at uh, on the red eye and then as i was talking to the woman that reservation got sucked up so i could not get on in the airline that i travel i'm sure i could have found a flight but i know that we're not in crisis necessarily mode right now some of you might think i'm in crisis but this is not believe me so anyway so it's to, it's on saturday night on the red eye and i arrive into florida on uh, sunday morning um you know and they were so helpful with the airlines you know she was she it, it, everyone is just being as helpful as they can because it is all an unknown now i cannot i was telling jam before we started here i can't say that i'm excited to fly now because i am 
not excited to fly right now. But I am curious to see what the experience is going to be like. And I'm going to document and make sure that the next time we all get together on the podcast, we can talk about what that experience is like going to the airport and what TSA is like and then what the boarding process is like and how you actually are uh, treated during your flight. And, you know, just how people are respecting each other's space and all that. I'm very curious to see how that's all going to work. And um, I didn't think I was going to get thrown into the middle of this, but I certainly uh, looks like I uh, I am. So I will, um, you know, obviously make the best of it like I always do. And, you know, we'll come out of it on the other end. But I'm just telling you, it is a um, uh, it's very weird when it starts hitting a little bit closer to home, even though this is not COVID related at all, as far as the disease goes. But certainly the procedures and things that are happening in our life are uh, a part of what's going on here. So I well, and she, you know, it's a scary thing. She's at her age and she isn't. I'm glad to hear that they don't they're being taken the measures in the hospital because the hospital is where you're a little bit scared about absolutely about I, I, not I just know. covid just people getting an infection or something. i told my mom or my uh, wife today we were talking about it after so i'm like well there she goes she's in the hospital now i mean that's a whole other thing that the things that i was hoping we weren't going to have to expose her right. to has happened but you know it, 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 you know everyone is being super cautious and, and very careful and I, I, once again i'm so thankful for you know people that are dealing with this on a daily basis i mean i, I can't even I, can't, do I don't know how they do it either so it's an it's an amazing thing and, and i just respect and appreciate that all so much it's amazing but well, life has life has definitely changed and we've been talking about that for the last few weeks i mean right. no doubt about it well, you a collective uh, uh, wish of, of good hope and prayer and, and good stuff for you and your, I know anybody listening is thinking that right now, Matt Emerson. So we're sending that all to your lovely mom. Um, she's so cute. All right, I can yeah, see her. I, 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 well. I heard from the Home Instead uh, manager. She's like, well, your mom was flirting with the EMT. So I guess oh, it was boy. Oh, there you are. All right. Okay. There we are. All right. Well, safe travels tomorrow. And I know you'll be documenting all that. So I look forward to hear how that all is. You've taken all your protective gear with all you. My, got all my gear ready to go. Got a couple masks and, you know, it, it's the red eye, thank God. So, and I sleep like yeah. a rock on a plane anyway. So I'll probably be doing yeah. quite a bit of sleeping for well, over, hopefully it's not. I, you know, just to speak on traveling, you know, I, I just, my sister purchased a home in Georgia a week or so ago. They're closing on it and they got crazy flights to, from Vegas to Georgia, $99 one way on Southwest. Those flights are already $89 actually. Yeah. They're already almost all gone because now things are starting to pick up. It's like the momentum of, of like the domino effects around the country right now of things opening. I mean, it's a little bit interesting, don't you think, Matt? Yeah, um, totally. I mean, the, the whole, I got some notifications like Kohl's is open and I'm like, oh my gosh, I really actually want to go into the store. I, I was going to buy something online and I just had to abandon the cart. I did not want to do it. I, it was closed for my great nephew. I needed a couple things that I'm like, no, I have to see this. I'm not ready for the whole buy clothes online deal or shoes. I needed a new pair of sneakers. Right. Um, but you know what? I don't know what's happening there. I don't know if California is quite there yet, but here no. there's people in line trying to get into the store. Now they are right. trying to do the measures and control it. And like they've been doing in the grocery stores here, but it is just weird. I, I, it's surreal still. The yeah, whole it is. Every time you put like, a mask on, it feels very odd. Yeah. And then you've got everybody with different opinions and it's all too politicized and not even know. I don't think anybody really knows what to think. You know, I think you have to, you know, what, in my opinion, you just have to do what's best for you. Well, I think everybody has to do what's best for them and what their risk levels are and what they feel and just, and not try to put it onto somebody else. That's, that's right. my advice. I, I think at the end of the day, you, you know, you, you, you can, whatever is going on in your own mind and what's happening, you just have to remember that over by the end of the month, a hundred, over a hundred thousand people have died because of this disease, you know, one point, you know, six plus million people, you know, will have uh, been tested positive for it. So there are some huge numbers out there that do not in any way, shape or form uh, compare to anything else that has happened on a yearly basis or, or you know, certainly in the in the past. Yes. You know, but uh, this is a, a one of a kind, not one of a kind, but a, a certainly a, um, a, a pandemic of uh, nature that is unlike anything we've seen in quite some time. So, you know, you can all everyone can have their feelings, but the facts are the facts and that's you know we have a issue that a, a situation that is not going away yet so that, everyone needs to it. be vigilant that's it exactly you're listening to the wandering but not lost podcast where real estate and reality meet join us and subscribe on apple Podcasts, stitcher spotify iHeartRadio, google play and now on youtube
like as much as everybody would like it to go away, right. it's just not, and we have to make those adjustments. So here at our podcast, with what we do in our day to day, walking our own talk, uh, what we do with our WBNO coaching program, and any interactions we have with agents here in Vegas or elsewhere, we're going to be always striving to. Uh, share, be real, be transparent, and take action towards what we need to do to be to to kind of own this. And uh, I'm excited about it. So yeah, you can absolutely. count on you can count on that from us. Uh, continued open, honest discussion, and we definitely welcome your feedback. Yeah, and we have been doing a lot of things, you know, behind the scenes, just working on improving a lot of our programs and systems from what we've learned over the last 60 days, which I think, you know, is is, is super important. It's funny, you know, we were talking about how we jumped so quickly onto the virtual agent um, process. I mean, so quickly, within days of everything kind of shutting mm-hmm. down. And, you know, Jen and I were kind of laughing yesterday that how many how many emails did you receive yesterday about how to become a virtual agent? Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. like, I mean, obviously, clearly, that's where everyone's going to go. It's not like yeah. that's rocket not like science. We did, it's not like we did. Yeah, we didn't invent that. We just but, did but, it. We just jumped in early and went I'm for telling it. You, we, we absolutely were on the leading edge of that. And because of that, I'm telling you, we already have so many things that are in place that we are already changing and augmenting and improving because that's the way the business is. And that's what happens in the virtual world outside of real estate, you know. Oh, in any way within uh, uh, the virtual world. So, you know, we're, we're staying on top of that to making sure that we're going to be providing all the most up to date and things that work the best. Well, and, we're, and, it, and like Dan was saying earlier in the in the tip, we're, we're walking the walk too, right? So we're yeah. seeing what's working and we're augmenting as we go along. I can tell you that Jan's already moved from, she as far as virtual, uh, you know, uh, companies, you know, with 3D tours and all of that. I mean, we've already made jumps all over the place finding new and better systems. So it's, uh, it's and, we're, and we're actually going to give a little sneak peek and talk to you just a little bit about this today and there'll be more to follow um what just just to 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 carry on a little bit about what our particular focus is and what has happened during and through these last 60 days like i said we took our company here locally and jumped in and really helped the agents that were serious and and honestly people in our own coaching network and others i mean we had 129 folks and i'd say 20 something 30 30 plus people were not affiliated with our local, we're, we're affiliated with Home, Home Connect America. Um, so I was excited about that because we do have a big network, you know, over the years here. I mean, how old are we now, by the way, WBNL Coaching? We're, we're, we're approaching, well, four and a half to, to, Almost, to, to, to talk like a, a child. We're four and a half years old. Oh, well, are we? Are we? What's our, what are we going to use? November 11th is our November official? November 11th, 2015 so was our now, first launch. Date. So that'll be our five-year anniversary. Wow, we have to do something for that. Anyway, the focus for me personally, and then Matt can speak to, to kind of where his, his excitement and where his focus is. I really have come full circle with my entire career here in real estate, starting in 1992, working for two large companies, starting a little baby coaching company in between those two companies, then meeting Mr. Matt Emerson and starting almost five years ago. I'm gonna say almost five years ago. Um, Cause November will be here before you know hey, it. Hey, we were certainly talking about it five years ago. <laughs> right yep. about now <laughs> uh that good point and that manifested into wbnl yeah. coaching we had a lot of uh, learned a lot of stuff through that progress and have coached people and agents and brokers and teams around the country and and, and really put together i feel some great content some great uh programs that are out there and then innovated that all into our partnership with uh rich brocken who had been a long time consultant i've was his broker years ago and we've kind of followed each other around and you know my focus our focus here at, at the Co- WBNL coaching is I am really all about helping teams I think teams is the way to go Matt and I are clear on that we think it's small business it, it actually the systems we teach work for any small business yeah. they're, they're standard uh, classic stuff that you have to do and they're leveraging technology and social media as well right were you going to add something no, I was just going to say, you know, you, you mentioned Rich Brocken and, and the consulting we did with him. I mean, he, he has got a mega team in Las Vegas and he has really put together a powerful, powerful team there yeah. uh, over over the years. And, you know, we were consulting with him and it helped to build his whole back in his training program. He had a great training program in place. We actually brought that live training program online and built this great thing. And then, you know, he opened up a Home Connect America with our, our assistance uh, yeah. in Las Vegas, own independent company, which is really doing great and is a great place for teams. So, yes, we have been believe in teams from the very beginning and uh, our 
are have been knee deep in working on our own systems, but also helping others, you know, enhance and, and grow their teams as well. So it's been uh, it's been a really rewarding Hasn't experience. It? And that led to you know, so Home Connector, Home Connect America is my home, and and I have always said it's the home for teams. Um, they don't have right. to be a, be there, but that's my passion. And so what the epiphany that I had through this through this crisis is that I think a lot of us have gone through a self reflection what's important, what's what's your purpose, are you doing it? And two things that emerged for me, one is I wanna walk my talk 100% and I have had this team, small team, there's five of us, but I haven't had the ability to really put all, or I haven't, I hadn't chosen it up until this point to put my focus on, on doing that. And that's what's changed. So I'm excited to be able to jump back into doing sales and help my team grow, number one. Number two, so I can continue to fine tune the systems. Everything we've done with Rich, with other people that we've worked has made our content better. But now I really want to go do it for a couple of reasons. I got excited when we were teaching that 30 day challenge sure. stuff. I think there's opportunities out here. And I want to jump back in and I want to make these things, fine tune these things and put my own systems that I've been coaching people for years on into place and make them better. And that's what we're doing. And that's going to, along with Dave Esquire, who we've known for years, we've worked together. I've known him, I was his broker years ago. Of course. Uh, 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 I think a person that was, you were the broker America. for with me. I was never, and you were never my broker. And what's exciting is we're going to expand WBNL coaching to have additional instructors, uh, classes, uh, systems, um, better a better platform, and, and to, we have great core material that will stand the test of time forever. It's evergreen. However, we're going to give it a refresh on the areas that it needs. And we're very excited to, to say that we're going to take this 30 day challenge that we did and turn it into more of a true virtual agent ongoing course certification and it's going to lead to some monthly group coaching so this is a little bit of what's coming we'll have some announcements coming up because i think we're going to officially launch the the new look and feel uh june 17th right matt that's right. Is that actually, the date I, we've chosen? I was pulling up a, a screenshot. I pulled up the wrong thing. This is one of our courses, actually. That we well, let's, let's show, uh, if you're if you're if you're listening, Matt will describe it. If you're watching the video, that you can get in the show notes or over yeah, well, YouTube. Let me, actually, get, let, let me go back and I'll show. We'll go to the, right. the front page. We have been retooling our website. We've been working on this for a while, just for a number of, a number of reasons, actually. Right, Jim? Yes, we need a better uh, platform, a stronger platform. Yeah, number no one. Doubt, <laughs> no doubt about that. Um, but we have been. Um, uh, going in and, and making some changes, we're going to really we're excited about this platform because not only does the this new platform provide us a opportunity to uh, have more streamlined, faster, uh, just more well put together course units and, and an easier flow for the end user that's coming through here, but we're going to offer so much more as we're going through there. So our official launch date for our our new products or and the new website actually because we have thousands of followers anyway, you know, so we're going to be migrating everybody over, but uh, is June 17th. We put uh, June 17th is our our our, our new launch of uh, WBNL Coaching 3.0. And we're really excited about uh, everything that we're doing. We really are going to be focusing primarily on the fact that the world has changed uh, and everyone has to be virtual now. Honestly, when we were going through the 30 day program, Jan, and I know you'll agree with this, you know, we kept saying you should be doing these things already. Right, uh, in your buy with your buyers, with your sellers, you know, maybe not to the degree of not being able to do anything in person, but you should be are, have already had all these things in your toolkit. And if you you haven't, we're going to make sure that you get you get to that place uh, as as soon as possible. So the the world has changed, and we're we are right there in the leading edge, like I mentioned, to reimagining all that as well. So um, you know. We're going to offer a, a number of different courses. Uh, a lot of them were already on there. Some of them are brand new. Uh, our, our coach tips are still going to be around. Podcasts, we're still going to be doing that. We're going to be offering new programs on group coaching that we're going to talk about in time and then additional new one-on-one -on -one, uh, coaching as well. So there's a ton of things that are going on uh, with WBNL coaching and we're, we're, we are busy working all of that behind the scenes uh, over the next few weeks, but we're gonna, you're gonna be hearing more about that as time goes on. So and we're excited. You, we're super excited. And if you're listening and you're not on our mailing list or part of our basic free membership, which we'll still continue to have that with actually some additional free stuff that you get, um, then you need to just drop us an email uh, or send something over to me. You can just send something to Jan at janobrien.com um, if you want to just add to the mailing list. Uh, 
Matt. What's your email, Matt? That you want people to use? Matt at wanderingbutnotlost.com. There you go. Matt at wanderingbutnotlost.com, or you can send something to Jan at janobrien.com. Easy to remember. Coach at wbnlcoaching.com will work as well. And we'll add you to our mailing list uh, or get you because we're going to have some some launch pricing and specials for people that maybe want to get into this program. We're excited. We have lots more to talk about in the coming weeks. We wanted to give you a little sneak peek today. We're working hard behind the scenes while we make our adjustments to the new normal, update our content and courses, bring some additional help and support out. Very excited to be partnering with some other folks that we'll tell you about later that are going to bring the latest and greatest information in social media, technology, real estate, from the basics on up to building your team. So whether you're a broker, you're a team, you're an agent, just wants to take things to the next level, you want to learn how to build a team, you just want to hire an assistant, we're going to have all of that. That's what we specialize here uh, at WBL Coaching. That's right. All right. That going to do it for today, Jenna Bryan? No I more words that, of wisdom? I think that does it for episode 120. Right. We want to we definitely uh, leave it there and We'll see you. It's on the flip side, on and I will be side. back to uh, report on how my adventures through uh, COVID pandemic airline flights uh, uh, happen as we progress over the next couple of months. I want to once again, just huge shout out to the, the frontliners and, and first responders because you took care of my mom this morning and I appreciate that. So, and yes, we do. Yeah. And, we're, and remember and we're, everyone, we're here for you. At, at the end of the day, you just have to remember this, be forever wandering but not lost. Hashtag be grateful. And that too.